find the volume of this shape right here. What I have is a trapezoidal prism. But the trapezoidal prism doesn't quite look like a prism because usually when you think of a prism, you think that the base it has to be like on top and on the bottom as well. And here it's not. Well, if you were just to imagine that this is laying flat on its side, right? And I know my, my picture is not going to look great at all. I'm just going to try my best. So there's the top. Uh, dot, 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 you get the idea. Trapezoid on the top, trapezoid on the bottom, prism part. If I were to take this and lean this flat and fall this down, uh, I would have this guy be five. That's a five right there. You would be from top to bottom. You would be 4.3. So that is the height of the trapezoid. Uh, the height of the actual prism is four. Uh, the small part on top is three and the large part on the bottom is eight. So I have a, I have a prism with that information. The bases are trapezoids and the trapezoidal information is a height of 4.3, a top of three and a bottom of eight. Okay. It also gives me like this, this slant looking thing of five. I don't think that will matter. And then the four is the height of the trapezoid. So let's, let's put a formula together. The formula, and this is a prism, and the formula for any prism is the area of the base times the height of the prism itself. Okay. Now what I want to do is I want to remind myself of what the base is. It's a trapezoid. And the, the area of a trapezoid is one half times the base of the trapezoid in parentheses, base sub one plus base sub two, close it, height of the trapezoid. Now I'm gonna put height of the trapezoid right there so you can see it's the height of the trapezoid. Some teachers might um, put this as one half height and then the base, it doesn't really matter. In fact, that's what I should have done, but I accidentally misspoke and started drawing out the B and I just kind of went with it. Now that's going to be multiplied to the height of the prism. Okay, so I will put that there. Unfortunately, I have to get rid of my terrible, terrible, terrible drawing. So I just have to remember that when I'm talking about the red here, I'm talking about just the trapezoid. And when I'm going to ask myself for the height of the prism, it's four because again, if I were to lay this flat, it would be four meters tall. So let's put this all together. V equals one half. Now it doesn't matter which one's which or your base of the trapezoid. So I'll call base sub one, three and base sub two, eight. Again, doesn't really matter. The height of the trapezoid is 4.3 and the height of the prism is four. So I can't do this in my head, so I'm gonna go off to the side and figure out what this is. The old Apple Watch says it's 94.6. Now this is volume and the units are meters, so I'm gonna make sure that I say meters cubed because it's volume. But that's a trapezoidal prism and you find the volume of a trapezoidal prism by using this formula or you could just jump straight to that formula, whatever floats your boat, whatever tickles your pickle. But that's what I got for this one, 94.6, baby.